Hello everyone, Gilly here. Let's continue solving Project Euler problems. This is problem number two. So problem number two is about finding even Fibonacci numbers. So if you look at the Fibonacci sequence, this is a classic sequence, a very famous sequence in mathematics. We have each number being the sum of the previous two numbers. And in this problem, they define the first two numbers as one and two. So if you look, three is the sum of one and two. If you look, five is the sum of two and three. Eight is the sum of three and five. 13 is the sum of five and eight, so on and so forth. So this problem is simply looking for us to find the terms in the Fibonacci sequence um, who are below or equal to four million. And then we just wanna find the sum of the terms that are even. So that's really all there is to this one. It's not too crazy, nothing too wild here. Um, so I guess let's go ahead and let's get started. Um, and again, just some quick housekeeping things. I'm not looking to give away actual answers to this problem, so I'm masking them where possible. I'm looking to just show how I solve the problems. So let's go ahead and let's just define a infinite list of Fibonacci numbers in Haskell. And this is always really fun in Haskell when you're defining infinite lists, because it just feels so crazy. So basically the fibs are gonna be an infinite list of integers. And I'm actually just gonna dive right in and start with a helper function. So I'm gonna say auxiliary, I usually use aux. Lots of people use go. Uh, some people use fibs prime with a little tick mark after. I use, usually use aux. So what is aux? Well, aux is gonna be something that given the last two terms of the Fibonacci sequence, will return back as an element in the list, the first term. And then what it's gonna do is it's going to recurse by calling aux again, passing it b, and then passing it a plus b. So that's actually all we need in Haskell, and I'm sure there's a nicer way to do it. I've seen these before where you don't even need an auxiliary function, like on the Haskell side, there's one where they do it with primes. But in this case, I'm gonna use one, because I don't know any better. If anyone does, please share. But basically, that's all it is. Um, what is a Fibonacci number? Well, a Fibonacci number is the last Fibonacci number that you got, so, our A here, and then we just shuffle them forward. So B becomes our next Fibonacci number, and the Fibonacci number after that becomes A plus B. It's pretty much that simple. So what does the actual solution look like then? Well, the solution is just going to be the fibs, but what we're gonna do is we're going to take, take while less than, and I guess our number was four million. So four, one, two, three, one, two, three. So the fibs that are less than four million. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna filter the even ones because we only care about the even ones. And then we're going to sum them up. And that's pretty much it. Um, we can delete this dollar sign, it's unnecessary. And yeah, I think this will give us our answer. So let's go ahead and let's run it. So run video two. And again, it takes a moment to compile, but that's totally fine with us. And it's something that begins with four and ends with two. And that looks right as far as I'm concerned. Thanks for watching.